everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lisa, and today I'll be showing you some gyms in China and comparing the fitness market of China and the U.S. and basically just explaining a lot of what of what happened when I went to China and how it worked out and all that. Um, but I hope you like this video, and if you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into the video. So for this first gym that I went to, it was actually my sister-in-law's gym, which is why I didn't have to play for the class. Um, but in China, there's this app that's kind of like a combination between Yelp and Groupon. Um, but basically, it just shows you like all the deals on food, entertainment, and like all kinds of activities and stuff. But um, I also checked on their site to see how much and. Uh, how much like a first class is at the studio and how much the regular price is um so yeah they're more like a smaller studio than a gym and i'll show you in just a sec but um i went to this group fitness class it was like a hit class it's called a barbell class and they just had like really interesting barbells like there was this like on the barbell they had a mechanism that would lock the plates like the weights in place um basically replacing the the thing that you put on the barbells um i forgot what it's called but um it basically replaces it and you just like load the weight and it locks in so i thought that was really clever um yeah, so uh, I'll probably put the stats of the gym up here so you guys can reference it and let's get into the workout. So I'm in China right now and I'm about to go to my first gym in China and I'm in the car right now with my sister-in-law. So for the second gym, um, it's actually more of like a community studio gym type place. It's not really like a gym gym where they have like have like coaches and classes and all that. It's kind of just like a common space for people to work out in like the neighborhood. Um, so I wanted to show you this gym just because like I want to show you like what it's like to have like an apartment gym community gym in China it was so small and honestly like it's it's just too small for me So for this third gym, I found it on the app I just talked about, like the Groupon Yelp type app in China. And um, they're really interesting because they're like a woman's only gym, so they like only take in like female clients, which is like kind of weird but kind of cool I guess. But um, their inner like design was really cool I thought. It was like mainly like white, clean, light color themed and it just made me feel really comfortable and clean. And my coach was really cool because he um, is like a casual fighter, I don't know, but he's like really into boxing and he's also a tennis coach, so I thought that was cool. Um, but yeah, I filmed a lot of my video, like a lot of this class, um, and I'll show you, but uh, I just wanted to like list the price here and like compare it with the US. I think that class was an experience class, so it was only 70 bucks, but normally, uh, 70 RMV I mean, but normally their classes are like, if it's one-on-one -on -one personal training, I think it, it's like 450 RMV a class, which is like very expensive, but um, the more classes you buy, like the cheaper it is.
classroom that I'm showing you, um, they're actually specifically a boxing gym. Well, they're not boxing gym, they're like a fighting gym. Um, they like are they specialize in Muay Thai and one of their coaches is like a Olympia champion Muay Thai or whatever, but he was really cool. So this one I also bought on the app and it was really cheap. It was only 29 RMB for a class and the class I bought was um, kind of similar to what I do at Everybody Fights back in Boston which is um, like they just have a lot of bags in the room and it's like kind of dark and the instructor plays music and everyone kind of like does the thing you know and so I thought it was going to be really cool but then um, I invited a friend and the entire class was just me and my friend so like you can see how like group fitness in China is just like not very popular right now but yeah so like after the class the um, person at the gym actually told us like we could try another class and it was like with the Olympia champion trainer and he um pretty sure he was Thai because he didn't really speak English or Chinese like I could not communicate with him at all but it was fine because the training was really fun we did like mitt work and conditioning and all that um but yeah I think the vibe of the gym was also really cool because um it was very like clean looking it just makes me feel good when the gym is clean you know but yeah so like that one I think is cheaper just because they're a specialized gym and they I think they're membership based rather than class based um, but I'll also find that information and list it here So I think some of the main differences that I've seen um, between like the fitness industry in China and in the US is mainly in first, um, most studios slash gyms in China are really, really small and they have very limited equipment because they're built for uh, personal training and one-on-one -on -one training rather than just everybody going to the gym because I feel like in the US you kind of get like a gym membership and you go to the gym and do your own thing but in China it's like you pay a trainer to design um, a training system that works for you and then you train with a coach instead of you looking at YouTube Instagram and finding out what works for you and then you just like kind of go to the gym and do your thing you know and I think the second one is um, the price difference so because you are usually paying for a personal trainer in China it seems more expensive but at the same time if you were to pay for a personal trainer in the US it would be about like the same price and the US would probably be more expensive but I think um, the main difference is that you usually don't get a personal trainer you just get a gym membership which is a lot cheaper than um, hiring a personal trainer in China and also group fitness is not very popular in China which makes me really sad because y'all know that's like one of my favorites um, yeah, I didn't go to a spin class in China because I didn't even see any. Um, but yeah, that would have been really cool to try a spin class in China. 